today I will show you how to strafe in Minecraft PvP. After watching this video you will know what strafing is, how to do it and the best ways to practice it. This is a very noob friendly guide so if you're looking for more guides like this make sure to subscribe. I make PvP guides all the time so you don't want to miss any of them. So yeah let's do this. So I'm going to start this guide off with showing you what uh, strafing actually is. So we need to know that this is not strafing. Spamming A and D is not strafing. Like going like this is not strafing because you're practically going just forward. So when you're trying to strafe, make sure you're holding down the A or D button. Something else that you need to understand is that the whole point of strafing is to throw off their aim. Now that's quite hard to show because right now I'm fighting a bot who basically has perfect aim, so he doesn't make many mistakes. So I guess now I should probably explain how to actually strafe. Simply run out of your opponent and go to the side. So it just literally goes to size like this, like this, there we go. That, that's some good examples of strafing. The other thing you need to know is to be unpredictable. So for example, right now I'm running away. I'm going to turn around and boom, straight like that. Another part of being unpredictable is just switching the di direction you're going. For example, like this, it makes it harder for them to predict where you're going to go, obviously. So uh, for example, I can, you know, get, maybe just go to this side for a bit and then that side. But yeah, just in general, be unpredictable. So it's harder for them to aim. The other thing is you should try to avoid where they're looking. It's quite hard for me to show. You should just try to either get to the really side of them or like right behind them. Another thing you could do is make some micro movements. For example, like just suddenly move to the sides, like boom. So micro movements are basically like these really small movements that are very hard to sort of see, at least for your opponent. So it's basically like going like that, a little bit to the left, a little to the right. Again, it, it's all to throw off their aim. I'm gonna go a bit this way, a bit that way, like a bit that way, a bit that way. That was some really nice strafing right there. You need to have good aim. Because if you think about it, you know, you're going to the sides of them. If you're making it harder for, for them to aim, it's going to be harder for you to aim as well. So you need to make sure you have good aim. Now I'm going to be making another video about getting better aim. Basically, all you need to know is to get good sensitivity, something that you're comfortable with. And to practice your aim, you can do a few things. Um, I recommend getting a game like Kovac or Aim Trainer. I think there's like a Aim Beast or Aim Lab or something like that. There's a lot of games like that on Steam, but it will be much easier for you to aim than them because you know exactly what you're doing so so now i'm going to tell you how to actually practice all of this stuff that i just told you and there's two things you can do you can either go on this server which is pvp land and simply go here to practice and do exactly what i was doing the entire video so far and just fight a bot it goes from easy medium hard expert to hacker but if you're a beginner i recommend using easy but let's just say you want to just be on high pixel to practice your strafes i'd recommend playing sumo jewels sumo jewels is very good for strafing because as you can see this game is all about movement and about getting the right angle on the person the problem with this is that hypixel is a very laggy server so yeah but there we go the other mini game you could use is just uhc jewels i mean it's just basically pvp so anything you do here is going to be good but yeah, i recommend using either hypixel or uh, pvp land or actually just both so yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe and comment and yeah, I'll see you later.